Very pleased to have Samira Rathod here with me at the Trees Vikroli for a new episode of the Those Who Design series. With over 25 years of design practice based in Mumbai, Samira has projects spread across the country with many awards to her credit. She is critically interested in the theory of architecture and has published many editions of her own magazine called Spade. I look forward to discussing her recently completed project, The School at Bhadran in Gujarat, to understand her inspirations, aspirations, approach, and learnings looking back. From her years of practice in the field, I also look forward to getting her views on the ideas around gender, its role, if any, and its place in architecture from her perspective. To, a, to an existing school. It's called the New English Medium School. Uh, and it's in a very small town called Bhadran. Okay. And Bhadran is known to be the Paris of Gujarat. Oh, wow. So okay. it has proper drainage systems and its most exquisite uh, houses and the post office, temple, the big tank, courtyards. Absolutely stunning. Uh, the client had bought a piece of land, not realizing um, that lands come with their own histories. Yeah. And it ran into a problem. They realized they were duped. It wasn't buildable. They wouldn't get permission on it. That land had some beautiful uh, chiku trees on it. It was a lovely chiku orchard. And so we had planned to have the whole school such that kids could pluck out the chikus right uh, from the veranda. And so the whole school was on stilts and it just meandered around uh, the chiku trees. And um, they loved the idea, but the land disappeared. And then I got a piece of land which had luck. No ah, tree at the all. site moved. The site moved, wow, and that's an um, interesting problem. And normally, we we're, we're always saying, you know, let the building be contextual, let the building respond to the site. And I was like, hey, you know, there's nothing there's on this. No, where do I start? So yeah. I said, so we just start with the plan we have, and we plonked to that same plan. How interesting! Uh, and so I said, from I bring the memory the, of that site, yeah, in a way, yeah, invoking yeah. that, and yeah, okay, interesting. So so we stayed with that. And I, I didn't have any guilt about it not responding to, you know, the site in, in, in such a You're manner. You're saying it like it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we, we plonked the plan and said, let's test it. And the trees anyways will have to be planted. So We can grow uh, the trees we back. We can grow the trees back. And so we stayed with the concept. And then, of course, um, other interesting ideas came up. What were the few other big moves which you might have taken even from the first side or, or certain reasons why you arranged the space? In a certain so way. I, I was so, clear about many things. Okay. Um, when we saw this site and we saw the town of Bhadran, there was that new context that was available now. That is, this beautiful old homes. They had lovely arches, um, very well crafted. Um, on the way to Bhadran from Baroda, so you, one would take a flight to Baroda and then you have to drive about 40 minutes, 40 kilometers outside in the city. So the kind of landscape we had there, and one saw brick kilns. So I knew they were making bricks. Yeah, they had bricks there, and uh, so th those those immediately start, you know, informing uh, your informing process. the design yeah. and the processes. Yeah. So you, you know, you start getting inklings. You, you you kind of get your little impulses that saying, "Chalo, you know, this is that." So one of the things that I said, like, what will the building look like? And there was an intuitive response of saying, "Let me see how children write." When you give the pen or the pencil to a kid, he doesn't draw a straight line, Either, you know, they scribble. Yeah. And what do these scribblings look like? And so we started looking at scribblings. And then I remembered you you had those scribbles first on a little uh, blackboard. I'm like, yeah, this is it, you know. Yeah. And I said, what if that whole idea of the dance and the scribbling and this lopsided uh, kind came of hand together. came together and that became, and the arch of Bhadran, so the arch, lopsided arch that looked like handwriting. And therefore, they were dancing, and then so we had the school of dancing arches. Uh, that was one big move about the arches, the dancing arches. Uh, then there was the bricks. Yeah, um, so I'm going to I'm going to actually ask you that question um, from a form, function, materiality, sustainability perspective. Clearly, the building is quite imageable in terms of the materials you've selected. I would imagine it is in an area which would get hot in the summer. So, uh, in terms of at least I gauge those deeply shaded corridors and verandas would help keep 
the classrooms uh, cool. So talk to us a little bit about some of those moves. The building is conceived uh, as a module because what we built was just uh, phase one or, or phase three actually and then phase two and one would follow uh, as, as time went by. So um, the phase three was essentially because it was an extension of an existing school and the existing school is, is a, you know, a, a few blocks away. So they would have to walk here. Uh, was the senior school, which means I had to build a couple of labs, uh, some classrooms, um, some administrative area and a library. And that would add up to some 20,000 square feet. So the, the rest of the classrooms would, or the, the entire sort of uh, K-12 or like the full sure. school would come bit by bit later. And so my whole idea was that, look, as an architect, I'll intervene now because this is in a semi-rural area. It's important that we design something that they can handle without calling us. So it's, it's a kind of system framework, system framework which yeah. you can keep on adding. Yes, and I do that a lot to a lot of the projects, but it's it's kind of very subtle. And so when the final product comes, you don't see it, but, it, but, but it's there. So we designed um, the roof in that way. We designed um, the actual planning in that way. So what happens was there's classroom and then there's a skin. So the skin is this beautiful corridor. And metaphysically or metaphorically, the skin kind of protects the inside. And so therefore, the weather And also shade, it does from a weather, yeah, perspective, weather it, perspective. It becomes a second yeah. skin where so it, it is a, hits so, the building. Yeah. So it's separate in that sense. And the classroom module is just a block. And those blocks continue. So the idea is for them to add more blocks yeah. on that spine. Yeah. So they can just kind of... Yes. And the spine is designed also with two, uh, one volt actually. So the one volt which is locked. Yes. And it's lopped and then you just keep twisting the... Uh, so again, it's the dance of the arches but yeah. in three dimensions on yeah, the Yeah, so the yeah. volt keeps uh, uh, mirroring itself. Understood. So you have, if you mirror two volts and I mean, if you join two volts, you get a pattern. But if you put them on their on, heads, uh, the, together the you get ends, you get another pattern. And then when you want to join and expand, there's a pentagon kind of structure with a dome. Ah, so and that's so you the, keep joining. That's the Lego part that joins yes, the... Yes. Okay. So there was actually a connector. Then the roofs of the boxes, they're also designed in the same manner. As you see, they've got bolts in them also. These yes. so-called jack arches with deep beams. But they're also basically designed such that if you put all of them in one direction, you get type A and then you flip it and you get type B. Uh, also with the idea of using the same shut screen. So you finish this, you move on to that. You finish that, you move on. So you don't waste material. I think uh, I, mean, I think it's a great idea because it's 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 one where um, you don't have to build everything up front, uh, as in how the building can grow, and you've shown them a way of doing yes, it. Yes, and then you and, just kind of right, and yeah. you get more economies of scale the more you use yes. the same shuttering. And then of course using uh, the local bricks. I was so what happens also is it's not just the local bricks. It was. Um, the minute I said brick, I know very typically they would say, oh, you want uh, brick facades and all, it's going to cost you this and exposed brick was cost you this. I said, what is so great and difficult? You know, I don't, I, I'm sorry, but I don't understand this. He's saying, no, 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 we have only one agency, you know, one, one agency in the entire country who does the best brick work. But I said, I don't want that one agency who's going to charge a bomb. And this is a school for children. So I'm open to not the best one. I just want the best supervision. And I'm, I'm a hardcore believer that if you supervise, how can you go wrong? If you supervise, you can make a rocket, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, no, no, absolutely. Absolutely. And also, I mean, we do a whole lot of building ourselves. I find that it's just that if you're able to show this is step one, step two, step three, step four. Step three. Exactly. It's just when you don't show it, one or two steps get missed. Yeah, and that's why absolutely. you get a poor. And the sense of perseverance and the sense of care that has to go right down to the last uh, denominator where the, the guy who's on the job and the one who's laying the brick cares, right? right? right. And that comes by talking, that comes by them believing yeah. and that comes when they see their own work. It is immaculately um, delivered and finished. Yes. I would have, if I looked at that building, I'm, even in big cities like Mumbai, I find it increasingly difficult to get that level of finish. So. What we suggested is that um, we will get a good supervisor, uh, a, a guy who will basically come and stand there and say, look, I'm watching you guys. And so I got and show you local, how to do it and do all yeah, I got local right. uh, masons, local craftsmen who had never done exposed brickwork yeah. before. 
Yeah. I'm like, I'm fine with this. I don't mind a little variation. It's a handmade building. I don't want a machine look. Yeah. Yeah. I want the blemishes that come. Yeah. It's fine. Luckily, the brick tested very well. I mean, it looks great. I wasn't no, sure it, if it, it is just very strong. It tested and on it all is counts. exposed brick, right? It it's not clad. No. The arches do have um, columns um, because the the engineers like this. Structurally, this, you're going to have to yeah, no way I'll, this will stand. And then we studied uh, what? How do you how do you sort of lay the arch, and especially if it's lobbed, where is the Where's column the, going to be? Yeah, the, where the is the key low, yeah, yeah the key yeah. to be, and where is yeah. the load getting transferred? Yeah. So we figured that out. And then it was it was okay. And then we had huge problems with the vault, that locked vault. Um, yeah, structurally to calculate that on an arch, yeah. which is also yeah. I mean, so it's, it's I, the I, engineer's I, so nightmare, right? It's like architects looks really good, but made our lives ten times more difficult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the engineer and the team of contractors, I had to throw all of them out because they were they were just resisting. Uh, there was no sense of seriousness about believing in the ideas that I was proposing. Like, how can you get a local supervisor? Who the hell is going to do this? How can you have... So, just locked? negative. Just negative, negative, negative. And uh, whilst everything was designed on the modular, where they had only repeat, and I kept insisting It's about on sorting it out once. Once. And once you figure it figure out, it, 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 it just, just repeats, repeat, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I insisted on steel shuttering. They said, no, we don't want to do it. And so everything that I was saying was just getting like tossed out yeah. and he was a very senior man, but I'm like, I'm sorry, sir, uh, with all you do is res due respect your seniority. I would not take this um, kind of attitude on my project. Luckily, my client said, do what you want. And um, I said, well, I'm going to interview the whole team. They'll have to be court martialed. So we went, we called them and I had a series of questions. Uh, I said, I've studied all the billing. I'm sorry, but there, there seem to be a lot of anomalies. And uh, much as I know that it's not you who's taking the money, there's been serious negligence. Um, and so it's not fair to the client for him to just put up more money. And um, generous as my client was, he's saying, just let's fine, get them out, but I want the school. What's done is done. Uh, let's see how to take it forward. And so he says, so what's your next step? I said, I'll get a new team. Um, so I got a completely new team. Wow. And then these are people who cared. Amazing, Samira. I mean, firstly, thank you for sharing this because these are the bits that people don't talk about yeah. and how much goes into oh i a, used to cry a, i used to i used to cry I used to burn inside because a yeah. it, you know you you're struggling for something beautiful you know you're right about things and you meet this resistance resistance yeah, constant resistance, constant and the new contractor of course was a lot more supportive um, he came up with ideas and so he said you know uh, the credit of how that whole Volt and the engineering went to him, not to the engineers. And he says, you don't need such thick. Because the engineers were giving me a uh, huge yeah. concrete. I'm like, why am I doing a volt with such a thick concrete slab? Are you crazy? Um, the, the, the volt itself is yeah. self-supporting uh, to a great extent. So absolutely. It, should reduce, it should be a real volt. Yeah. It should be a real yeah. one. Yeah. And uh, so he, he said, yes, you're absolutely right, ma'am. And then he said, you know what? We can try a very thin one. And then I'll stick brick under it. So it's very interesting because the brick is not doesn't have any mortar on the walls. It, it is. He says you do the shuttering, then you lay the brick, and then you do the reinforcement. It's loosely laid brick. Yeah, it's just loosely laid. The, the way we were designing it, it's laid um, just laid. There's nothing. It's just laid, but tight. Uh, tight. Yeah. Then you pour the concrete on it, which is just about this thick, and then you put brick again and then you remove the shuttering so there's no staging required and that's what the earlier yeah. engineer was saying say that itna kare staging karna padega ek volt ka 36 lakh we did 6 volts in 36 lakh you know you know one of the questions i had and i'll ask you that in a in 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 in, in another question but just since we are on it you know the vaults on the floor above when i looked at the section i had first thought that the vaults were done from 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 a perspective of keeping the space cool, because typically that you also. you would that have an air gap. So there is the vaults which have this double layer brick, so it's thick, it keeps it cool. It also keeps it cool because there's a volume in it. Correct, exactly. And then they're facing in the direction so that there's Again, a natural a, cross a, ventilation, yeah, right, right? Right. So that happens on the classroom blocks. Um, now the brick had, so we started enjoying the brick, and then a lot of to do with being on site. And you start taking certain material decisions, being on site. That okay, let's do this. Okay, let's try this. Why not? Why not? 
So those kind of decisions were happening and you know waterproofing, uh, Anubha if you know, uh, is done with brick bat koba and then they have the top coat on it. And here I had these lovely arches and my contractor says, so, matab, now you're going to fill it all up, it's going to be very expensive. I said, but I don't want to fill it fill up. It up. No, why I why should be, I? Yeah, I why, be, why? See, but then if you don't fill it up, look at the arches and look at these bumpy shapes on the terraces and you know, it's going to collect water. I said, so imagine it's a land. Yeah. What do you do? Right. Water no water. Yeah. No, not waterproofing. Just drain it off. Achha. So that's where the spouts came. Achha, that's how the spouts happened. Achha. So we created these little canals. Right. I said, when the you have a natural bum, there's a candle, uh, a camber, and, and it kind of kind yeah. of just comes uh, off, and then so you see. But how? I said spout housing. Itne I said, huh? Itne sare I, I love the spouts, by the way. Yeah, I, I, thought, I, I thought they were fun, of, right? Yeah. yeah. And One of the things that I noted here, the firstly the the corridor is very deep, and uh, while the shadow play is beautiful, uh, it's already dark. Once you go into the classrooms, we don't like in India for some reasons putting in that many windows or uh, articulating the the classroom as a lit box. In fact, it seems like a very closed in box. So. Uh, if you go on the first floor of the building, the, large, the the two classrooms that become one classroom, on the inside you've got these windows, but the sill height of the windows is quite high. That's what we were asked to do by the principal then. Ah, so it's almost like I don't want distraction. Yeah, mm. I a, thought as much. Which which is you know at, at um sometimes you kind of when you're talking uh to the group, anyone everyone's participation. Uh, and you, you you don't want those kind of override uh, suggestions of coming from uh, the team. Then that was one of the things they said that we want the sales to be higher they on would, the inside. Yeah, so I almost imagined, and again, I didn't know how old. She wanted her self to be able to look into it. But for the kids, to, to not look. <laughs> yeah, I found it a little oppressive, if you ask yeah. me. No, I think um, quite honestly, the classrooms could have uh, had more light. More light. More natural light. And what about uh, from the, the top? From uh, the top, use the roof to uh, from, yeah, we've got in some places, but it was um, it was going against the structure. All these things add up to more and more cost at every time. So uh, that was one of the reasons. Then the windows are also slit windows again to keep the cost down. So you have many slit windows. You don't have frames. So there there was this perhaps a larger than required emphasis on cost, uh, and especially after I had been you know. Uh, went through one gone through that process where we kind of overrun and so maybe that was one of the reasons the other reason also is that in these kind of climates and a lot of the old architecture that you see do have very small windows and it's this to very new cool. modern yeah, 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 yeah. idea uh, or the idea of modernism to start in, to having glass and bring the outside inside but it's very hot yeah, yeah and so you know you're kind of saying what do i do get the outside inside or keep the building cool yeah. And then once you have uh, been in that weather, your obvious first response is to keep it cool. No, no, I, I hear you. Yeah, so. And two other nitpicky things that I noted, uh, also upstairs in the big classroom, somehow structurally you had this column. Because there were two classrooms joined. That column was just really bothering me, Samira, yeah. because of the junction of the because column. Because there was the no, there was no brief in the beginning of having um, so it, it was uh, a large classrooms or a hall. See, this is what happens when a project takes longer or things change. Uh, their no. brief starts to change. And can then you, you're on site already. You got to do what you got to yeah, do. Yeah, the column is built. And like, can you just join these two, or can we just do this, or where will they do that, or we'll make this into a library? Yeah. And I said, yeah. okay, I'm, I'm keeping the walls out. Decide what Keep you want. Keep it as open as possible. Yeah, you decide what you yeah. want. As designers, we are probably one of our own harshest critics. Yeah, yeah. And uh, having talked to you for the last hour or so, I would imagine that you would be pretty harsh with yourself oh, yeah. on critiquing and making sure. So, anything you can share with us that you think um, you could have done better? Not, not the things that were out of your control, but you, as in your control, looking I, back. I think that um, sometimes we get so we're so close to the design that you don't kind of step back wow. and look at it or uh, not in terms of composition or anything I'm constantly looking at that but I'm just saying we're so engrossed that some of the silliest things are right under your nose and you just kind of I'm like why did you do this um, so um, I think the classrooms could definitely use more light natural light I think that that's where uh, we went wrong uh, also I had an opportunity to paint the classrooms white uh, which would have brought Light more because light, more, 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 more. no, it was it would it was then it would need 
artificial light. I wouldn't need tube lights. But I was so engrossed with this whole terracotta and idea of like, yeah, yeah. I mean, because again, you, one is going with the flow. Yes, right? Exactly what you said. Yeah, you're, you're just so, so close to it. The... And then I, you know, I, I had this question. I asked on site. I said, "Yeah, you say me and now give me terracotta and all because it looks beautiful. But look, yeah, the light is gone." And then the rest of the team, like, "Ma'am, let it be. You know, we have it to do terracotta." Right, right, right. So it was this kind of uh, architect's um, yeah, yeah, fair uh, enough. Indulgence of uh, it's. Uh, it has it's to very be kind project. of you to share all this candidly. And so first we of didn't all. we didn't do that right, and I feel that's not fair. That should have been uh, taken care of. Um, there is a canteen. There was a plan of the kitchen, um, and the children didn't come in on time, as in because of that huge gap. And now they're in. So yeah, I wish I wish all that hadn't happened, and I wish we could we could kind of be a see the building through to its. To its yeah, uh, true uh, true function and form, you know, and I'm and would have loved to see what children think. Uh, the feedback I got from the school was, uh, you know, ma'am, this roof is not right. So the waterproofing with this double coat um, of bricks hasn't worked a hundred percent. It needs maintenance. So that's something that they had warned, and I was still like, no, no, go ahead and do it. I would say it's worked seventy percent. Some of it still leaks, and then for places like this, you. I feel sometimes that I wish these buildings could be hardier from our end. I think that comes with experience. So I know what not to do now yeah. uh, or where to stop. Um, I'm going to say that I had a client who says, you know what, Samira, the windows leak, leak, but why can't you make them like cars? I'm sitting with pouring rain and not a drop. You know, and, and rightly and, uh, so, right? Rightly, rightly so, so, rightly yeah. so. And I was like, yeah, I didn't have an answer for you. I'm like, I'm so engrossed with the beauty of this window. And Elon Musk sends people to Mars. Hey, you know, I'm like, well, what the? Yeah, yeah. We can't get one thing right. So, so it's yeah, um, so that that's something that I really struggle with, uh, and I want to do right. And sure. um, with time, one is definitely more, far more mindful of these practical issues. Thank you. This has been a, a, a very, very insightful conversation for Thank me. Thank you. And um, very kind of you to come by. Yeah, Thank lovely. you. Lovely pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.